Hey guys, it is Wednesday and we are outside because I wanted to show you two things. It is gorgeous, it is not raining, and there's a little chill in the air because it's like a brisk 64 degrees. The other thing I wanted to show you was I am going to be doing my first outside event this weekend, so I had to order a canopy. So let me turn the camera around and show you what happened. Okay, so the one I originally wanted couldn't be delivered until the end of March. So I ordered a different one and it comes with a bag that has wheels and supposedly you can assemble this by yourself. I don't know. But when the delivery guy delivered, he put it on the outside of the gate here. So I came outside and I saw that it was out there. So I have to get it inside the gate because I don't want somebody to steal it. And this is as far as I got it. That thing is so heavy. I'm hoping it's just because of the way it is packaged because this is something I will never be able to do on my own. I am not that strong. This thing is extremely heavy. But anyways, let's go back in the house and see what we did this week. Well, so yeah, I'm going to do my first outdoor event Sunday. And John has to come with me because oh, I'm not sure I can handle that canopy all by myself. When he gets home today, if it's early enough, I'm going to see if he is up to it. Can we practice setting it up so I can see how it's done? If it is something I can handle myself? I hope so because I everything with the exception of that four foot table that I struggle with getting the legs pulled out because you have to squeeze the little thingies and pull up at the same time and I don't have three hands. Everything so far that I've gotten, I have made sure that it's something I can handle myself so that I don't have to ask for help. But I think he'll enjoy this market because it's going to be like an old car show. It's at a high school and it's for a band. They're doing fundraising. So I'm hoping that it's going to be, you know, busy and full of people. But if nothing else, he's going to enjoy himself because he loves those old cars. So this week, oh, I don't think I've been too productive. I mean, Saturday's market that I did, you know, it rained all day. I told you guys that. It rained all day on Sunday. And finally, Monday, it stopped, but we had this little cold snap. It's still chilly. It's 64 outside. It's kind of cold in here. Like, my hands are freezing right now. And I just haven't been too darn motivated. You know, kind of like, bleh. The weather just kind of, bleh. So... Let's let me show you what I did. I purchased a capybara pattern and I could have got I could have bleh, I could have done it for free with the video here on YouTube, but it was I I tend to like talking videos. I mean, even if it's in a, a foreign language to me, I can turn the sound off and then have the captions up to where I don't know, I just prefer talking videos and ones that just play music. It's hard for me, it like wants to put me to sleep <laughs> with some of the music choices. But anyhow, they had a link in their description to go over to their Etsy shop. So I did and it was on sale. It was like, I don't know, $1.35, $1.65, something like that. So I purchased the pattern. And I did refer back to the video for one part because I was like, it, the instructions in the pattern weren't super clear. But once I visually saw it, I was like, oh, okay, I got it. So I made my first one and it was all wonky. Like, it's a no-sew pattern, which I appreciate, but sometimes they just don't work out and it... I know it has to do with our tension, it has to do with the type of yarn and the size hook and but when I made it, like you get to the part 
it tells you to put in the eyes and like how many stitches apart. And then you do a few rows and it has you do the ears, like you're gonna do the ears in the front loop, you're changing colors to do the ears and then you switch back to your main color and you keep working. Well, when it was all said and done, it was all wonky. Like the head was cockeyed and one ear was on top of the head because you're, you do the ears and then you're doing decreases and I don't know, it just shifted on me. So I mentioned the designer and I had two problems. It was falling over, like just would tip, it wouldn't stand up. And I said it was twisted. So the response I got back was, I probably stuffed the head too much, which maybe because I do like to stuff firm, but not hard. I want it to hold its fo its form, you know, hold it, that shape, especially with the Parfait Chunky, because, you know, it's not like a real firm yarn. It's super soft. That's why we all like it. And they said, they don't know what twisted means. And I kind of got a little offended because I'm like, twisted means not straight. Plain and simple. But I didn't want to give up because I really think these are cute. And so I tried it again. But I made, I had to make a few changes to make it work for me. You may not have to do that. I am not telling you to run out and buy this pattern. I am not telling you don't buy this pattern. But for me, I had to make a few changes. So what I did is I, I, I did him and I think he's really cute and I put the eyes in, but when it said for the ears, I just took a couple of pieces of scrap yarn and marked those stitches. And then I continued on and I had to add a couple of rounds to the body to keep it from tipping forward. I also did a popcorn stitch for the feet because they stick out further versus the bobble stitch. And it just, it just worked better for me. So when I had it all finished, I went back and I did the ears the same way, you know, like with the same stitches that it said to do if I wasn't, you know, if I was going to do them then, but I wanted them to come out looking even. And I think I did pretty good with it. So this one I made in Toffee and Teddy Bear. Then I made another one using Grays. And I did Seal and, ooh, I think this one is called Fog. Um, not real sure. But he looks cute did it the same way that I had to adjust it to work for me. So I think the head still kind of turns a little bit because of where the decreases are, but it looks cute. So I did the gray and then I said, oh, well, let me do one with the teddy bear body. I did the teddy bear and chocolate. And I did one more in purples. So I believe this is lilac and I have no clue what the dark purple color is. Oops, I forgot to put his little nose and mouth on this one. I did it on the other three, but I forgot this one. But he looks cute like that. Um, I got to put his face on. And again, I did it with the extra two rounds in the body so he doesn't tip so that I can stuff the, the head the way I like to stuff. So we did those. And then my small Premier Yarn order came in where I ordered the two skeins of the seven and the sage green on glitz and I wanted to pair and it was it was a perfect match perfect match with size of the yarn I wanted to pair up my Hobby Lobby seven yarn well they say it was a six but it was thick and 
the seven and make a turtle. So this is my turtle. With the, uh, I think they call this color camo. And toffee in the size seven. They just, they worked perfect together. But this thing is huge. <laughs> he's huge. And he's cute. And because his head was so heavy, I did stitch him to the shell. Usually, I kind of skip that part because I kind of like the little floppiness. But his head was heavy. So, he, he it is stitched. And, yeah, he's he's a good size. Now, the, this part, it didn't quite work up the way that I thought it would, you know, the way the colors would fall, but I love the two shades of green in it. It looks really cool. I don't know. I just kind of thought that it would group together more. I don't know why. I know better. Variegated yarn never works like that for me. And sometimes you just get some really happy accidents for the results. But yeah, I think this turned out fabulous. So I have a giant turtle. Those I did before my Saturday market. Well, then I was like, you know, I want to work on something small. So I made another minion. I mean, I sold one, so I made another minion. And I still haven't quite got the, the overall thing the, quite the way I want it to work out. But it is what it is, right? So I did that. And this was like really the only small thing that I made. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to work on. <laughs> I mean, I only sold 15 items at the, the market, so I'm, it's not like I'm low stock on anything, except for Bluey and Bingo, because I sold both of those and I don't have, or I didn't have anymore. I do have a Bluey. So then, oh my goodness, I think it is Madeline Mako. Forgive me if I have that wrong. I will link the patterns in the description. Um, she had this cute low sew, and it is very low sew. The only thing you, you're sewing on are the ears, the muzzle, and the, the horn. Well, and okay, I lied. It is not low sew at all because then you have to attach all the hair. <laughs> But the body and the head are all made together. <laughs> so she has this cute little unicorn and Pegasus combination pattern. So I wanted to try the, because you know what? The only unicorn I had was the, um, the lovey and space didn't allow me to put them out over last weekend's uh, market. So I wanted a regular unicorn, but not something giant that's going to take massive amounts of time. So I bought this pattern, and I believe it was on sale when I got it. So this one I used Hobby Lobby's um, Baby Bee. And the white, it's, it's like, I don't know, it looks dingy, kind of gray to me. And it didn't work up the re the way I remember that working up, but that was at the very beginning of my journey with Amagurumi. The purple is the lilac from Parfait Chunky, and the tail, it's actually two, and you kind of twist them into each other. Now, her pattern, she did it all different colors. I just... <sighs> didn't want to make those decisions, so I just did one color. And for the most part, it looks pretty cute, but I wasn't happy with the Hobby Lobby yarn. So I decided, let me make another one. And this time, I'm going to use the Michaels Sweet Snuggles Light. I think all the colors are Sweet Snuggles Light. If not, it is the Home Slim. 
and I think this one turned out much, much better. So the white definitely looks white. And I did the two colors of pink. And I did not put the little cheeks on it this time. Even the way I was able to attach the little muzzle worked out better, I think, on this one. And this is how you twist the two colors together for the tail. So, this looks a lot longer than the other ones, but it's not. It's the same size. So, you make five spirals and you stitch them onto the head. And the horn I did use Parfait Chunky because I do not have a yellow or anything close to a yellow in the Michael Sharn. But I think it turned out much better. So this is the two of them. And they're kind of looking to the side. You know, the heads aren't straight out. Because it, the instructions in the pattern is wherever you ended the previous round is, you know, when, it, when you're going to put your eyes in. That is the back of the head. Now you can adjust it if you want it looking a certain direction. But... I just followed the pattern instructions. The first time that I do a pattern, I try to follow the instructions and then I can get like ideas of how I might want to change it if I need to, to make it work for me. So, but I think it's cute with the little, you know, kind of little twist of the head, but you can see the difference in the white. This is white. This is dingy. So, Definitely worked out a lot better than the Michaels. Now, I haven't tried the Pegasus yet, but I believe it's the same thing. You're just adding the wings. So I did those. Then I had one of you viewers contact me. So I, I'm going to be working on a custom order for them. And they wanted a medium-sized octopus with long curly legs and I asked what was their idea of medium sized. So they showed me a picture and I think, I think I might have gotten close. So if you're watching and you know who you are, you let me know if this is the size. I know this is not the color that you wanted. They have shipped, so it should be here in a few days, I hope. So this is the octopus. Um... I'm not sure how big the head is around, but it is slightly bigger than my hand. And it's got the long tentacles, which of course I can make them longer if you need them longer. But I think it turned out pretty well. Um, this is an all from Jade pattern. It's super easy. It This is one of those that when you just want to crochet and you don't have to think a lot, this is a great pattern for that. And I know there's a ton of octopus patterns out there. And it's probably something that I could have done without buying somebody else's pattern. But I just, I didn't want to play the guessing game for the size of the head. So, and this is Parfait Chunky in the color of Seaside. Now it called for 25 millimeter eyes, but I only had 28 but I think the big eyes look good on it. So I can, with or without a smile, um, just depends on how what kind of look you're going for. So you let me know, if you're watching, if this is about the size that you had in mind. So then, I only have a couple more things. <laughs> so then I was, uh, I think... While I was making that octopus, I just had, you know, the crochet channels on, like, autoplay. And Refined Vibes came up. And she just did a market this past weekend. She did extremely well. And one of the things that she, she had that she sold out of was Patrick. You know, Patrick Starr from Spongebob, that obnoxious cartoon. <laughs> Um, so I was like, that's pretty cool. And she sold out of them. She got $35 a piece for them. Now, of course, my area, I can't ask that kind of price. The people would just laugh at you and walk away. <laughs> so 
I went out on a quest because she didn't say was it her own pattern uh, or whose pattern she used, where to find the pattern. You know, is it a paid pattern or a free pattern or anything like that? So I went on a quest and I Googled it and this YouTube video came up, but it was for a keychain. So I watched it and it's a two part video. I watched it for the most part. Um, I did fast forward, you know, jump ahead a little bit and I wrote down the directions. It's a free pattern. And I was like, how would this turn out with plushy yarn? So I tried it. Now, of course, we all know the first time you do a pattern, it's kind of like making a pair of socks. You have to make three because first time, especially if it's a new pattern, you are like hyper concentrated and your stitches will be tighter than they are on the next one. So I made two of these guys and this one was the first one. And on this one, I completely followed the instructions. So he's got a booty with a butt crack. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just thought it was hilarious. And the keychain keychain pattern worked out just fine. So I used my goofy eyes that I got for the peanuts and I think they look great on here. So I made that and I decided, let me make another one. So of course this one turned out just a little bit bigger because now that I've worked the pattern, um, my tension and like, I'm not hyper-focused on it. So on this one, I did a little bit different so that I could um, crochet in the arms like we always do. On the first one, it is you crochet in on one round three stitches of the arm. And then on your next go around, you are crocheting in the other three stitches. So I had a little bit of a hole that I had to go back and sew up. So I said, let me just try it the way we always do it. So I did, and it worked just fine for me. And then I did add one extra round, I think, in his head. Because I was going to use slightly bigger eyes and there needed to be a little bit more space. So in this one, I used these goofy eyes. So <laughs> I showed these to Jenna and she, of course, she knows exactly who he is. But she told me what the story is with him having the wedgie. I guess there's a couple of episodes, but one in particular where something to do with the fish hook and it gets snagged and he gives himself a wedgie or something. I don't know. But, so I have two Patricks. I don't know what kind of price point I would put on them, but I don't know. I just think it's hilarious. If you are into snark, these are definitely snarky. <laughs> but it's a keychain pattern and it worked out just fine. The only thing I recommend if you do use that keychain pattern is you will have to adjust the position of the arms. Because it just also, I worked it in the rounds and the pattern was, you know, slip stitch chain one and I just wanted to do the rounds. I didn't want to have to do all that. So that made the stitch count not quite right on the arms, but that's easy to adjust. You just, you know, look at it. Is it even, you know, piece of cake to adjust that for yourself. So we have two unhappy Patricks. <laughs> and then my last thing that I did is I made another bluey and I had to finish it up this morning. I got as far as having everything sewn on, but I needed to make the eyes and the belly patch and sew that on. So my bluey, now I need a bingo. Maybe I can get a couple of each done before Sunday. I'm not sure. I mean, I, 
I know what I have. Well, for the most part, I know what I have for inventory for what like I took to the last market. And because I didn't sell a crap ton of stuff, I think I have plenty of small items, I hope. But if I do well, then I will be like really trying to pump the stuff out for my March 16th market, which I won't need a whole ton because I'm only getting one six foot table, but I can always restock as I go. So that is my makes. Oh, since what? I think last Thursday. That's a whole week. That's not very much, but I don't know. I just really, I was having a tough time getting into it. I think the weather had a lot to do with it. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't in the mood. I had a bunch of button orders to do. And then even getting motivated was, that was hard. It was like getting started. And then it felt like it was taking forever to finish. So I was like limited on my time too. So just like a couple of hours in the evenings. But this is what I did. <laughs> okay, so that is all I have to share today. And I think I'm going to go get back to work and probably make a bingo. Not sure. Not sure at all. But I will see you over here in this next video.